G'day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you'll have to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. And you'll have to hit the notification bell. Mm-hmm. And like every video. Okay, cool. Yeah, sweet. Bring it over. All right, cheers. Hmm. A few minutes later. So the uh, the end of this uh, table leg here, it looks like a bit of a rabid dog. I'm going to have to get rid of all this um, construction adhesive or might be some uh, two-part epoxy or something that's on there. I've got to get that off and um, I'm going to have to flush, cut that mound of uh, foaming uh, saliva off. I've tidied up my workbench. Well, that would be a first. So I've got the straight edge pushed up against the high points which are somewhere around here and here on this uh, ring here. And now I'm going to measure. So this is uh, 133 mil. And this is also 133 mil. So I've got really lucky, I think. So that means I can just screw this uh, this side on and I'll have a perfectly square piece to put on a sled and just chop that end off to clean it up this is really good news
So it's about an hour later and um, sadly the thing with the drill press didn't work. Um, the motor was just not powerful enough. It's only a quarter horsepower, tiny little drill press and it just couldn't handle um, that 40 mil forcing a bit. So that was a fail unfortunately. Um, what I'm going to do now is use my um, battery drill. Uh, hold on. I'm using the same jig, um, using the drill press, went slightly off center as well, which is, an, is another annoying thing. So I've remarked and started a little pilot hole on the proper center. I'm just going to have to make sure I get the hole started, uh, you know, across this way a bit. I'm starting off with this older bit, which is a one and a half inch uh, that comes to about 38 mil. I need to get a 40 mil hole for my dowel um, so I'm going to come along later on with this 40 mil force in a bit. The reason why I'm using the smaller one to begin with is because I can rock it a bit side to side and give it a bit of a help along and then I'll come along with the 40 and just clean up the edges Right, I've switched to the 40 now, and I'm just going to go down the inside and just widen that bore a bit more, get it up to size. Someone's been at this with a hatchet by the look of it. Golly. I've put the table back down on the ground and the reason why is because when I was boring out this hole, kind of as you would expect with a um, like a hundred mil hole, which is about that much. Drilling with my right hand with the table leg in the same orientation all the time. It's pretty true in some on some axes. But um, she's a bit on the piss in other axes. Like uh, over here you got a couple of mil of lean one way so I'm gonna keep this um, next one on the ground and I'm gonna drill with both hands 
and rotate myself around the hole to reduce that bias of lean in one direction. Couldn't be more off than I could imagine, actually. I put tons of glue in there and I've got a relief cavity in there so it won't hydraulic out. Oh. Nice driving. Huh? Nice driving. <laughs>